Hi, <coughs> my name is Yvonne and I'm an independent UK stamping up demonstrator. <coughs> and what I'm going to show you today is the new paper pumpkin box that is available for all our um, customers in the um, UK and the other markets in the world. So this is the um, actual sheet that comes with it and it's got full colour instructions and you've got some gorgeous colours in here and this is the expressions in colour. Now I'll show you the box it actually comes in, try not to get too much of a glare. So it comes in this lovely box all packaged up and you will get your cards and envelopes. Here are the envelopes. So you've got some full size envelopes, some note cards as well. Then you have these pre printed um, cards, some gorgeous purpley colours. Here we have some um, dies just ready to punch it out. Another set there. Then we have this. One lovely uh, bumblebee cardstock then we have some printed vellum with words and flowers there we go yep some labels and then we have a this will be evening evergreen cards, some more little labels, some more printed vellum with the leaves on, absolutely gorgeous. And then <coughs> we have some mini cardstock. So that's the first lot of elements you will receive a stamp set as well so this one says you are amazing thanks for everything sending hugs um, congratulations many and then we've got some flowers um, and some little leaves and a like an ink splodge to color your flower you'll also get some sequins some little sticky dots, the dimensionals and the twine and then last but not least uh, two uh, stamping ink spots one in bumblebee and one in evening evergreen. Now I won't be using the ink spots I'll be actually using my full size um, ink pads just because I've got them open and available so I'll pop those to one side and we shall start so i'm going to do the um purple one first i think this is fresh freesia um, one of the new ink colors right so we need the flower, so I'm just going to gently pull this off the vellum. There we go. And then we need a tag. some of the thread now it does tell you how much thread for you to cut and at the side of the actual instructions I'll just show you is a ruler so you have you've got your inches and your centimeters just that run the, along the edge of there Thank you. 
so if you were like me on my last video where I wasn't crafting in a place that I normally craft then I had a implement to measure my thread right I'm just going to cut it about there around and hopefully I've cut enough to wrap it around and then tie a bow and if not a bow I'll just do a knot and I can do a separate I can always do a separate bow afterwards ink on my fingers from my last crafting thing I was doing. I'm just going to chop those off. So I'm imp improvising already, which is what you can what you can do. Right, so you just need to position your flower behind the, or on top of the ink. Do, 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 do. And I need my little dots. Um, and where have I put them? I've lost my little glue dots already. And I barely started crafting. Which is part of the course. Because they're quite small, uh, you can quite easily misplace them. And I have, oops, where are they gone? Literally, I had them and then they've gone walk about. You probably. You can probably see them in the video of my can't, which doesn't surprise me. So sorry about this while I uh, find my little dots. This is very annoying. Oh well, they'll turn up. will turn up somewhere. Ah, I can see them. <laughs> They're on my stamp pad and I couldn't actually see them. Right. So, the little glue dots are ideal because they'll hide behind the back of the vellum. Just need to put, uh, and just as a couple. Now, if you like the colour combination of this kit, then you'll love. I'll stick it there. You'll love the actual DSP papers that are available um, that will go really well with this kit and it'll help you um, expand um, and it colour coordinates perfectly with it. Uh, so 
This is the Expressions in Ink Designer Series paper and it's 12 by 12. So, <clears throat> as I say, if you like that, then you'll love the papers. Right, so I need my got my ink block which isn't very clean and you're amazing. And there. I'll just whip that off so it doesn't crackle. Position that on there and I'm just going to use a little scrap piece of card just to test the stamp yep that's fine and I'll just stamp it on there there we go it's as simple as that and then I need to use some dimensionals now I'm using my dimensionals I've already got open rather than opening another pack so I'm just going to put a couple on the back of there pop that there And then just finish off with a bow. And say so this time I've done a separate bow rather than creating a bow with the twine all together. Sometimes I find it easier to do it this way. Oops, pulled that a little bit too far. Just need to. So it's what we call a bunny ear bow. Look at bunny ears. And that can just sit on there. Right, let me just cut that. And I'm going to stick it on there like that. Just with a little glue dot again. <clears throat> this is time I can find my glue dot. So I'm pick up. If you haven't got a pokey tool, then a pair of scissors just to help you with the picking up of your little dots will be fine. And then I'm just going to place that on there and there we go that is the first card that's really pretty that is I'm loving the background um, of that one and then uh, I think to finish off we have some little gems <clears throat> So these come with your kit as well, so they're like little iridescent gems. So I'm just going to put, just dot them around. They've got, they're already pre-stuck, or well, they've got um, adhesive on the back of them. Just need to pick them up. One more. that over. Excellent. Loving that. The, and that's our first card. Right, on to the next one. Oops. Right, so our next one is the Evening Evergreen. Now, we're doing some stamping on this one, so but this time we're using the smaller card. Oops. Right. OK, 
keep putting things down and picking things up again and I can't remember where to put things. <clears throat> it's okay. Put them upside down, but never mind. So this is the flower and we're going to, according to this, we're just going to pop it in three different places on the card. And using the Evening Evergreen. Again, I'm going to test it, make sure everything's okay. Oh, <laughs> I've got ink all over my uh, edge of my block, so I'm going to clean that before I do anything because I am bound to get ink where I'm not supposed to get ink. So I'm literally just wiping that off. Try that again. Right, so I'm at three places. One, two, three. That's a really nice flower. I like that one. Just think of all the colouring you can do with this once you've finished um, using it for your kit. Right, so we need to pop this on the green card. So that would just sit there like that. Now, I'm not going to use my um, glue dots for this. I'm just going to use my stamp seal. that there. Possibly I put it upside down but never mind it will be fine. Right so we've now got um, thanks for everything. I've got a little bit more stamping to do so I'm just going to remove that one. stuck and we need the for everything there we go <clears throat> then with one of the thinner banners just check make sure which one it is it's not that one it's the other ones these ones here. So I'm just going to pop that little banner out and then we're back to the bumblebee. Just slightly tap. I'm just going to test it on there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to position it on here. Hopefully, yay. <clears throat> there we go. Close my ink pad up so I don't get ink everywhere. I seem to be banging into the, the uh, camera with my head, which is not, uh, not good. Right, so now it is the thanks. So I'm just going to pop that out carefully. There we 
we go. And then again, I'm just going to use my little glue dots. I'll just move that out of the way. To pop them at the back of the vellum, just so it can attach to the card. Just a few. off now I always say with these particular any these particular kits as well but any kit you see how the layout is that's been designed and then you take that and then you can use it for other cards so using a I'll just pop that on there there we go that's stuck down and then mm, mm, yep some tweedy foam and just use some smaller smaller ones for this I'm just going to chop my little bits down. So as I was saying, um, you can use these ideas for your own card designs. So for example, you can take a um, coloured cardstock, use a background paper and then stamp over the background paper and then either um, stamp separately um, a thanks and then cut it out or die cut it out and then you've got like a little piece underneath under the thanks as well so you can go with that idea I'm just going to put a few little sparkly gems on as well the uh, sequins on Stop. Dot them around. And then when you finish with the kit, then you have the stamp set to play with as well. So then you can incorporate that into your other cards. And that is the next card. That's really pretty. I do like the flower background at the stamp and the, the gorgeous um, different shades of the um, evergreen, um, evening evergreen um, paper at the back. I do like that one. Right. <clears throat> and now we're on to our final one. Now, this has got a little bit more involved. Oops. So we have our bumblebee cardstock. And then we have this lovely vellum. So it tones, putting the vellum on top of your coloured cardstock tones it down. If you don't want something so bright, then using a vellum over the top of a, a bright card will tone it down nicely. And we'll use our dots again. It does say just put them in the middle. Because I believe that the various flowers are going to cover it up. Let me just take that off. So yeah, there's all these little um, things that you can see from these kits. Let's press that down. 
Right, now we're getting into the flowery thingy. So I'm just going to gently pull this away. Just be careful with it because it is rather delicate, this one. do is just I'm going to snip that off there. Snip that off. Oops. There's a little bit more. You can move things around a bit better. You can get unattached. These are really delicate, so just take your time on taking them off. That's our first one. We've got the pink one, which is possibly a little bit more straightforward, but I will just snip off the bits I don't need make it a little bit easier to detach the shape. Now if you like these sort of kits then um, Stampin' Up! have a whole range of different kits and I've shown a lot of them on my um, channel so if you want to have a look at the other videos I've done quite recently then you better see all the kits that have been available and there's been some party boxes um, just rip that one off um cards for men all sorts of different kits and in every kit you get everything you need to make your cards um including the actual stamping block um which with the paper pumpkin ones you don't actually get the block but that's because normally the paper pumpkins is a subscription service in north america and we have only been getting these paper pumpkins quite recently for the global market so nearly done this now there we go well I'm really pleased I didn't bust any of those leaves because I'm sure that I uh, could have done right so I think the green goes down first. And then the right, I see. So we just need a little glue dot in the middle. At the back of that one. And position that somewhere around about there. And then we need the second one in, which will go somewhere about there. So yes, definitely check out for the um, other kits that are available. If you like this sort of kit and then you can build on them as you want. And then that one goes about there. So a tiny little space in the middle of there to put my little dot. So 
some tape. I say having something sharp just to poke underneath that is good. Right. So there we go, that's the flower arrangement. That's really nice. Right, so we're going to be doing a bow. In the middle. Quite a big bow by the looks of things, so just going to do my bow. around I think. I'm just going to cut my bow down. And again I'm a little dot in the middle just to hold it in place. Sort of something like that. Right, and then we have the congratulations on it. So that's the... Ah, that's this one here. And it's not always nice having a congratulations card. Headbutting the my phone today. Normally I don't have a problem, but today I seem to have my angles wrong. So I'm just going to pop that at a diagonal so it'll fit on. Pop that one back on the. Going to let it relax so it goes on straight and back to the bumblebee. Again, I'm just going to do a bit of a test. Yeah, that's fine. And then hopefully you can see that and just position it about there. There we go. Lovely. And then I'm just going to use some dimensionals again. Just at the back. Just a couple. And then of things that is some sequins. I'm just going to put a look, couple of sequins around as well. Oh, that's really pretty that is. I like the way that they've used a vellum on that one and how it looks. Right, I'll show you all three cards and you'll have enough in your kit to make um, nine cards all together. 
So if you wanted to, you could mix and match what you how you want the cards to look, but these are the how that they show you on your instructions. Oh, the congratulations goes in the middle. <laughs> I put it at the bottom. Never mind. That's okay. I just felt it needed to go at the bottom rather than in the middle. That's uh, how I was uh, looking at it when I was uh, designing. Right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please um, subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be having a giveaway shortly um, as I've reached over my 200 subscribers. So um, please watch out for that video and you can win um, some goodies from me. And also in October, it is my stamp anniversary, and um, this will be my fourth year of being with Stamping Up. So I will be doing a few videos celebrating my stamp anniversary and uh, being with uh, doing all the cards with all the Stamping Up products, which are absolutely fabulous. And I'm so glad that I've joined as a demonstrator. And if you want to join as a demonstrator and it's before the 31st of September, you can join with... Um, it's £99 to join, you to choose your um, starter kit, you can choose anything that's in the um, current catalogues. So you can choose a paper pumpkin kit, we choose any of the other kits. Um, and the kit is up to £130 worth of products, but you only pay £99. And only until the end of September, you can receive an additional bundle from our um December or our winter mini catalog so um there's um different bundles um that you can choose from in addition to your normal stamping up um starter kit so I'll pop a link below for um that for you to join um and if you want to um ask me any questions about it um please drop me an email and I'll happily um, talk to you about being a demonstrator. I'm so glad I did it um, all those years ago um, and I'm still enjoying um, using the products with Stamping Up. Well, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.